Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again, Weatherman Plus. It is Friday. Yay. God bless you today. I hope you have a great day at work. If you're going to school, do a good job, man. Finish the week strong. Have a great day at school. Now, we have updates as far as the storm, but as far as the information on the storm, it's still at 90% for 90, Invest 98L. It has not gotten a name yet, but if you remember the anomalies, they are a little spread out for what's going on uh, this week well, into next week with a small anomaly, a big anomaly, then a small anomaly after. Uh, there's a reason why I'm showing you that, and I will show you in just a minute. Now, as far as the ensemble uh, guidance for the 31 members, you can clearly see that most of them are showing that it will go towards overshoot Nicaragua and go towards Honduras, Belize, Yucatan. There's a couple that, that show it really intense, and they're still showing that one that curves away and gets real strong and go towards Cuba, then it goes into the Gulf. Now, if you look at the two that's going, the H Wharf and the H Mon are showing exact same tracks. They are showing this thing will curve to the north, and there is a slight curve in these other models. And if you look, you'll see that they do curve north, then they decide to go south. That's because of that high pressure pushing them down. H Wharf and the H Mon are showing that that high pressure really isn't going to be a problem. Matter of fact, if you look at the intensity guidance, you see that the HMON came on guidance with the H Wharf, and they are both showing a Cat 4 hurricane. Uh, even a ship is getting up to a, a Cat 3 now, so they all starting to raise their intensity up. Now here's a shot from Levi Cowan, Tropical Tidbits. You know how he always says, seek official information, don't go by his information, even though he is a genius, man. He really is. But this shows his shows that the average will be a tropical storm hitting Honduras, Guatemala, and the Belize area, which is way doable, way better than any kind of hurricane, even though they don't need anything at all. But if you look at the GEPS tracks, they show the same thing. The average is the, the tropical storm, but it's still showing this possibility for a northern turn into the Gulf. And what it comes down to is we need more time to see what happens with this, this high pressure, guys. But if you look at the... The possible ensemble, okay, for what you see for the GEFS, see what happens with these low pressures. And when you look at the spread of it, you can see exactly what the potential is. And it looks like it could be two pressures that go together. If you remember a while back, we had a, a upper level low with ADA as it came into the Gulf. And it did kind of like a Fujiwara effect on it. It did mess with it. But anyway, if you see these, they do spread. And one shows that it do, something does go towards Belize and, and Guatemala, the Yucatan Peninsula, Honduras area. And we still have another possibility that would be with it. Now, as that breaks apart and that one goes in, you'll see that this one stays strong. And it goes towards the Gulf. And it shows that even another possibility of another tropical storm, a, low, a, a very weak low pressure. We'll go towards the Yucatan, Yucatan Peninsula. But it is showing that this is a possibility that this could still go towards Florida. Now, if we look at the H Wharf, the H Wharf is showing that it does get up to about, well, it looks like a 950 in the middle, but it does show that it is going towards the Yucatan Peninsula. And if you go by the H Mon, H Mon also shows it's going towards Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula, 958. Now, if you go by the, uh, the H Wharf parent, the H Wharf parent is also showing that it is some very intensification, and it also confirms that it's going towards the Yucatan Peninsula. It is showing that northern push. Now, if we go by the icon, and then when you see these other models, they all are showing that this thing is going to get strong, but then it's going to weaken. See, this is showing a hurricane, and it's going to be skimming the edge of Nicaragua and Honduras the whole time it's going by which is going to cause a lot of rain and a lot of flooding, but it shows that when it finally does go in, it be a tropical storm, if anything, for landfall. And the CMC model shows the same thing. It shows that it will be some strengthening, but it's at the same time, at the end, it does weaken down uh, from, from going from a hurricane to a tropical storm, and it goes towards Guatemala, Honduras. Now, if you look at the UK map, the UK Met shows that it's still going to be a tropical storm and it's not going to be super strong and it's just going to go straight for Honduras 
again, tropical storm. Not an icon model. The icon model shows the same thing as those models were showing. There is going to be some intensification to a hurricane, and then it goes to the five-day mark. It shows that it starts weakening down to a tropical storm. And that would conclude with the small anomaly, and we still have the big anomaly that we need to watch for because I'm not showing that that is the big anomaly. Now, the euro, even the euro shows that it's going to be a tropical storm going towards Nicaragua, and that's the euro. Now, the GFS shows that it will intensify to a hurricane and it will go towards Honduras and uh, Guatemala and the Belize, the Central American area for this area, and it will be a tropical storm landfall. But if you keep watching, you'll, you'll notice that there is another low pressure that does pop up uh, around seven days, seven days from now, right by uh, Nicaragua, and it disappears. It comes up as a tropical storm. Maybe for Panama area, it might be a problem, but it's shown that there is another anomaly. Now, if you go by the G uh, GFS members, if you go by the 31 uh, perturbed members, you can see that it does confirm that it does move across the Caribbean. It does go west, and some of these show stronger than others. Some show weaker, but as you keep going, you'll notice that they do take a northern turn. This one does show that it goes towards Honduras, but if you see, they start to take a northern turn on these models. Even this one right here, E19, shows very strong intensification as it goes across, which is really believable from what the, the temperatures are. Now, if you go to the five days, you can see where it's at. In five days, a lot of them are showing that it's going to be a Belize problem. A Belize, a Yucatan Peninsula, it's going to be an issue for the Central America in that area. One does show that it will be intense for Honduras, but a lot of them do show that it goes towards the Yucatan Peninsula. This one shows Nicaragua. But this one right here shows that it actually makes it past the high pressures and it gets into the Gulf. And this is a confirming with the H Wharf, the H Mon, and H, uh, excuse me, H Wharf parent. Now, if you watch it go through, it does intensify. This one right here. It does intensify and it gets into the Gulf and it shows the same information that it is going towards somewhere towards the Gulf states. So that's why we got to keep our eye on it. We even have a late one that pops up uh, in about 10 days and it goes towards the same area. It shows it going towards the Gulf like there might be a problem. So we need we really need to keep our eye on this system, guys. Now, as far as the uh, heavier rainfall, because no matter what, I'm showing that Honduras is in Belize, that area is going to get rainfall no matter what. Whether it takes a northern turn or not, the edge of this storm is going to be uh, impacting the, the country over here. And if you see, the, the heaviest part is 703 meters, now, I mean, millimeters. 703 millimeters is this bright area right here in these three sections here. You can see the brightness of them. And seven, 703 meters is 27 inches, guy. This this is over two feet of water that they could be getting to get. Even if it don't get landfall, just passes by. If it just passes by, they still can get two feet of water. And that's devastating to them. Now, if you look for Jamaica, Jamaica, the next five days, it shows that you will get anywhere from 70 to 90 millimeters on the east side of Jamaica as the storm passes by, which is a little over two inches of rainfall. And I know rainfall is very uh, detrimental to, to, your, to your country, but at the same time, this is two inches of rainfall that is spread out amongst days, okay? And two inches of rainfall, most places, I know Jamaica is different, but most places can handle one inch of rainfall per hour and a half an inch every hour after that before there's any major flooding. But of course, Jamaica don't have the drainage systems like we do. So we need to be aware of that. But what it comes down to, guys, is it might be a possible two systems. I just need more time. Uh, that The information is not showing really valid as everything that's going on. But if you look at the storm now, the, the the sun's starting to come in. You can start seeing exactly what's going on with the system. And you can start uh, actually picking up uh, what is it doing. Now, if you watch it, you can see that it does get uh, some rotation in it in this storm. And the sun's just coming up, so we're really going to get a good look at it today. But you can see the rotation 
going from the, the north to the south on the, on, the, on the east side. I'm sorry, the west side. And then if you look from the south, it's really hard to see until it gets daylight. Let me put it on infrared. And you can see that it does get a lot. It's getting a lot of wind shear right now. It's, it's going to get past that wind shear. The wind shear is going to get lighter. But you can see the lower level clouds. There is some spin to it. There is rotation. It just don't have a center of low pressure yet. But you can see the spin going all the way around. This thing is ready to, once it gets a center location, it's ready to go. I, I believe it will be getting a name soon just for the fact that the rotation is getting all the way around this system. Now, I will update later on this afternoon, but as for tomorrow morning, there will not be a video. There will be a video tomorrow afternoon. That's just because I am trying to stay more diligent and more loyal to my God and keeping my Sabbath holy. So from 6 p.m. tonight until 6 p.m., uh, tomorrow night, they, they will not be a video uh, from me. But shortly after 6, I will upload another one tomorrow night. So God bless you all. Hope you all have, have a blessed Sabbath this afternoon into tomorrow. And just stay keep it holy. Stay, stay, stay loyal to your God because he can, he can save you or he cannot. It's all between your relationship with your God. And please, if you do not believe in the Lord, you need to come to the Lord Jesus now because call on to him why he is near because once he comes for judgment that door will close and you will be judged accordingly and that's for everybody your mom and your dad won't be there for you your husband and your wife we all have to answer on our own by our own to god ourselves every word you speak every action you speak i would like to read to y'all a little bit of what really is close to my heart it, it, it lets you know exactly where everybody should stand with the Lord Jesus. Mark 16. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and, and Mary the mother of James and Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun, and they said amongst themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were, fr were frightened. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazar Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, and he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, from they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen up early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils and she went and told them that that had been with him as they mourned and wept and they when they had heard that he was alive and had been, been seen of her believed not after that he appeared in another form unto the two of them and they walked and went into the country and they went and told it unto the residue neither believed they them afterward he appeared unto the, the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he had risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the worlds, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. All these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the, the word with signs following. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you have a great Friday. 
I will update with more information later on. I just need to, these models and this information to do what it's going to do for a few more hours so we can see exactly what's going on. I do hope that we're not looking at two that's going to pop up uh, out of this, this mass that's moving through the Gulf. It looks like it, it could happen. I see a few uh, things that, that are working together that shows that it could happen as far as the energy, the potential velocity that's in that area, also the low pressures. So we'll see what happens by the later on this afternoon. I, I am hoping to, to see that all this is going to be is a tropical storm for Central America. Even though it's bad to get anything, they would rather that amongst anything. Believe that. I know I would. God bless you all. I hope you have a great day today. All glory does go to God. Amen.